strikeouts out of her in this 2024 season. And she hums in a first pitch strike on Jenna Johnson. We are underway game number nine of the Buzz Classic last year. Payoff pitch. And it's clubbed into center field. Edgman darting back. She reaches up, and there's one down. Lineups and configurations for all teams this weekend. Iska Halen lines one to center. Edgman there again, two down. Nelliman ahead, 0-2. And a fly ball lifted to left. And Madison Dobbins jaunts over, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who. <laughs> Ella Edgman strikes out. That is the 15th strikeout of the year for Caleb Beaver. In their own right, they were top 20 nationally in ERA. And Dobbins chases one eye level, back-to-back -back strikeouts to start thing, Caleb Beaver. In her own right, making her own name. And a ground ball, squirrely to second base. Heavenland's got it. Took him to pizza one night, offered him $6,000, and he said, sure, I'll take the job, as Abby Hughes has the one go off the heel of her glove. And Bailey Dowling is aboard a leadoff base runner. 0 oh 2. Swing and a miss. Nelliman with her first punch out as she retires Callie Heavenland. And back out with the fresh arm, able to get ahead. Line to left, and Dobbins is there. Lead-off single goes by the wayside for Alabama. And Hughes strikes out swinging. Out of their swing to get that outside pitch. I think that's the one they want to hit. And a pop-up right side, and Callie Hevelin's got it. A six-pitch second inning. Talented ball player, and every single person in that dugout plays a role. As you see, Nelliman plunks Lauren Johnson. And Lauren was moving on the pitch, a little slap to the right side. Connolly takes the only play she has. Jenna Johnson retired, Lauren Johnson up to second. Way into their club, so it's a tough play. Kenley Cahalen down the line, she painted it. Lauren Johnson racing home, no way you're catching her. And Kenley Cahalen up to second base, it's one nothing Alabama. It's a beautiful hit from Cahalen. Down the line, you see Dobbins comes up throwing immediately four. I think would have loved to have seen her hit a cut at third base. Got an arm that we've seen a couple of times this weekend. And Dukesher, a comebacker back to Nelman, who dives and tries to throw it towards first, not in time. Blake, just glad that she's okay. And Dowling pops this one up, foul ground. Black has got it. Because you have the opportunity to be a leadoff once you make it through the first time. And what do you know? Another <laughs> ball hit towards Hevelin. <laughs> be terrific. As Blake Nelman's first pitch to Valentine is scorched up the middle. Leadoff single for the sophomore catcher. For the Jackets. And the runner takes off on a delayed steal. And Valentine is in safe. That was just a huge game all around from a production standpoint. Swing and a miss. Kinsey Norton pulled the string and says, have a seat. Esman ambushes one. It's over Edgman's head, one hopping the wall. Valentine touches home, and it's 2-0 Alabama. Lauren Esman with her second double of opening weekend. Esman finds this one over the plate, absolutely unloads. You'll get another look at it here. Norton just leaving this one right over the middle. Esman timing it up well. It's the kind of hitting you want to see from players. Esman hasn't been a consistent piece of the lineup throughout the weekend. It helps the umpire establish a strike zone more. You might get more calls. And she dumps one into right center. Esman holds it third, and now Alabama's got runners on the corners. Help them time up their load. And the 0-1. Jen Saleo lays out, and she gets the out at first base. A web gym from Saleo added to her collection. It's an absolutely beautiful dive. Somebody called Sports Center. So it's hard to get your foot down and really get barrel to contact on that inner half of the plate, and you see Edgman can't really fight through it and just swings him. Madison Dobbins floats one to left center and Lauren Johnson a headlong dive 
Lojo. Why not call Sports Center again? Let him know. Top 10 play from the freshman, Lauren Johnson. And she's fired up. That's a beautiful play. Look at her just Superman out there. <laughs> Be an amazing catch. Looking to her older sister saying, don't worry, my legs are fresh. Yeah, this is year you, one for you me. You stay there. I got it. Outside, ball four. And Georgia Tech, for the first time today, has a base runner. Already with four strikeouts today, looking for another. She's got it! Kayla Beaver, along with a defense behind her. And you got Valerie Cagle, potential player of the year, who is on the field with you. And the rule that Johnson offering at that pitch. Kenley Cahalan, a little roller, third base side. Norton's got no play. And a swinging bunt. Cahalan, I think she might say, yeah, but. Yeah. And a ball pulled on the ground. To second for one, on to first. Not in time. That was nearly another ending, ending double play. Anytime they faced a pitcher that fell into the category where they struggled, it got in their head. What a backhand stab, Grace Connolly. She flips to Saleo. That kind of gets them back in that cycle where you have one pitcher every year. Right, and of course, injuries can pop up and play such a huge factor. You yes. have that star pitcher get hurt. Ground ball third. Dowling retires Tucker. And the spinny stuff nice and high so that it really forces the swing and miss. She'll keep it in the park. Raked into left field, a base hit for Callie Hevelin. Slap to second, Connolly backhand flip, Saleo the turn, not in time. Try to get the wave out, strike out. The other stuff though is going to be the off speed, and this is when you leave it low, tons of power. Off the bat of Clark, you see a line drive, so when you leave it out over the plate, it can really play an eye trick on the eyes of these hitters. Hit sharply, deep in the hole, Saleo. No way. Saves a run. Wow. Jen Saleo with a spectacular backhand pick and an absolute hose to first. Turning on pitches on the inside part of the plate. And a ground ball, scalded up the middle and past. Callie Hevelin for a base hit. So Hunter at first, Saleo at the dish. And she tries to drop down a bunt. Beaver's only play is to first, she makes it. Hunter's in the scoring position. And on the hands and a pop-up. Left side, Kahalen's got it, two down. Check swing. She went on the appeal. And you've seen a couple examples of some great plays where Jackets can take away hits. Studebaker plunks Johnson. Headed for cover or headed for ponchos? And a ground ball off of Studebaker's glove. It gets past Connolly in a shallow right. And Jenna Johnson darting ahead to third. The Tide have runners on the corners. Coming into the game here today with seven hits already on the season. Got another one. Swing and a miss. It's in the dirt. Hunter completes the strikeout, throwing down to Hughes at first. And Ball four, that'll load the bases. And so your eyes are able to differentiate it more. And it got away from her, ahead over Hunter. Jenna Johnson scores on a wild pitch. And ball four. So the base is now reloaded. That's a common thing that pitchers will get called on, so just don't be surprised if you see that. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Studebaker. Moved through this weather. And a ground ball punched up the middle and through for a base hit. That'll score Kahalen coming around Dowling. She scores. The play at second, she's out. But two runs score on the play for Alabama. Dugout also thinking, what's my role here? And Allen drives it to right center. That ball is off the top of the wall. And it is a single for S.B. Allen. Eighth pitch. 
And Hughes sends a high fly right center and it falls. S.B. Allen racing around second. She'll head to third. The throw goes towards home plate. Hughes moves up to second. And now Georgia Tech with a little bit of life. Ball four and the bases are loaded with nobody out. Five nothing Alabama. Third, that's an option. Grace Connolly drives it deep to right field, and what a catch! Oh my goodness, Kendall Poor! You're kidding! They've doubled Triple all, play. and that's the ball game. Saves the ball game! Oh my gosh! I can't believe that just happened. Oh, they're gonna go take a look at it. Okay, they're going to get a review to see if she caught this cleanly or if it hit the wall first. But Clark goes up on the wall, robs the home run. That's Larissa Pruitt out there. Pruitt, excuse me, Pruitt. Somebody get her on Sports Center top ten. You get the double play at two. And that's your ball game, Alabama. Five nothing. Five and zero. Oh. What an amazing finish. Mm-hmm.